Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Steep Programming Course. Myself, I am Anam Simon Nahar and I am a campus student code for course. So without any further delay, let's move on to this agenda. So on our today's agenda, uh, we mainly focus on loops, particularly the while loop, for loop and do while loop. So what exactly the loops are and like, uh, I'm going to explain it right now. So let me open my code blocks first. Uh, Anytime. So I have already created a project called Loops, and this is a default code what we got uh, in this comp in this uh, editor or compiler. So now I'm going to comment it out as a uh, first. I'm going to comment it out as a while loop first. So I'm going to delete this uh, print hello world. So let me give an example. For example, if you want to print. Uh, one to ten numbers one to ten numbers if you want to print a one to ten numbers so whatever till now what we have we already learned from our uh, previous uh, classes or everything so what you're going to do is yes we're going to do uh whatever whatever we have learned till now what we can do is like we can actually print uh one and uh print a print a uh, print of two in this way, we can do up to 10, right? Isn't it? So we can do up to 10 in this way. So that will be very tedious task for me to do in this particular. Like I'm going to be very lazy. So I can't able to do this much of code like for just printing at 10, 1 to 10 numbers. So what we can do is, so here we have a while loop here. So when it comes to while loop, so we can actually print by using while loop in a like very nice short manner, like this 1 to 10 numbers, I can do in a very short manner. So what we can do is like the syntax of the while loop is let me give it, like uh, let me type that code. Uh, I can actually this uh, repetition of code. See, so here like I'm writing this multiple times like uh, for to printing a uh, ten values. I'm going to write here. I'm going to write uh, uh, more. It is and so on. I'm just I'm not writing it, but uh, I just want to print uh, all the uh, four things. Like I'm going to type it, I'm not going to type uh, the entire code, but if you want to write 1 to 10, we're going to write this multiple of code. So that's going to be very tedious task for me uh, or for you. That's going to be uh, like very lengthy code for to looks like very ugly too. So what we can do is like with the help of while loop, we can actually avoid this repetition of code. So that's the reason we are just using this uh, while loop. Uh, so now uh, start the while loop. So I'm going to declare a variable first. Uh, like I'm going to declare a variable as i here, and uh, I'm initializing a value with one. And uh, so now, what I can do is, I can give the value for the the while here. Within a while, I'm going to give a condition like uh, i less than ten. And then I'm going to open and close curly bracket. This is the syntax for the while loop. This is the way I have to write. And within this block, you can give any condition, whichever condition you want. So you can give any condition here. Uh, so now what I can do is like, uh, I'm going to print a code. So I'm going to printing out. Uh, here, I'm going to printing out this uh, particular IG, right? And every time, each and every time, I'm going to increment the i value here. So we already discussed about the incrementation. Uh, like once, whenever I am just uh, printing before incrementing, I'm just printing the each and every value, and then I'm incrementing. So uh, first we're going to get the answer as one here, printing one, and then you're going to increment, and you're going to change into two. Again, it's going to check the condition whether it is uh, condition is satisfying or not. If it is satisfying, then again it's going to come into this uh, block and you're going to print it out and again it's going to increment uh, 2 to 3 and again it's going to again it come to this line number 8, again it's going to check the condition. All the time it's going to check the condition and then it's going to print the, uh, the block. Every time it's going to check the condition. So up to, so in that way we're going to get the output as up to, we're going to print up to 10. So let me run the code first. Uh, so see, we got the up to 9. So actually we have to get this up, up to 10. So why we got uh, up to 9? So yeah, so yeah, let me tell you right. Why? Because we are just using the less than 10. So it's not going to consider 10. Up to 10 is going to consider. So if you want to consider 10 as well, then you have to use this equal sign here. Less than or equal to. Then now you just print it out. We'll get up to 10. Yeah, so now we got the values up to 10 here. 
so that's the main reason we are using this uh, value for like for printing like a uh, uh, for reputation of to avoid the reputation of code when it comes to if you want to print a uh, 1 to 100 or 1 to 10 that could be very tedious task for you to uh like yeah i'm going to give 100 here so that could be very a reputation of code you have to write you have to see this this much of uh, so see we got up to 10 here if you want the same 100 values if you want to print then what do you have to do have to again each and every time you have to print print one print two print three print four and and so on print 100 that many times of code will be very tedious stuff for you and the reputation of code will be and very lengthy code that will be very ugly to look like so this is what about uh, the while loop is about uh, now move on to do i do so what exactly mean by do i use so uh, let me comment it out first here i'm going to comment in this one first yeah so what is exactly mean by do i do do i so what exactly mean by do i so what uh, what is the difference between the while and do i do is the name itself saying like first to do and then it's going to check the while that's what it is. Uh, before that, we just check in the condition and then you're going to print this particular block, right? This uh, highlighted block. Just look into this highlighted block. Uh, we're just printing this highlighted block. If the condition is true, then it's going to print this highlighted block. When it comes to do while do, first it's going to print and then it's going to check the while condition. The, that's the difference, main difference between the do and while. So let me give an example. Uh, so I'm going to declare a variable called again a. I'm going to initialize a value with uh, 10 here. Uh, and I'm going to give a do here, do and open and open curly bracket and close curly bracket. Till open and close curly bracket. What I'm going to do is I'm going to print the same print statement what have given in this while loop. Same print statement I'm going to give. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, give a percentage d here. And then the, slash n and then i'm going to give the a here and then semicolon now what i'm going to do is like the same incrementation operator here as well so a plus 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 here i'm just doing a plus plus here so now once i'm with this a plus plus so incrementation what i have going to do is like i'm going to give the while condition here i'm going to give a while condition here while before like after the do i'm going to give while condition here the while so while a less than 20 so i'm going to do a less than 20 here so within a while loop what i'm going to do is like the, uh, after the while loop i'm going to give the semicolon here the semicolon i'm going to give a semicolon here like after a do I'm going to give her this uh, while here, this particular while, and again here in this while, I'm going to give a condition a less than 20. So now what going to like now I'm going to execute the file code first here. So now I have got the output here. What I got the output is so I'm just uh, printing from uh, 10 to 19. See, uh, you can say like or else uh, we'll do the same thing what we already discussed. Like I'm just going to up to 10. Okay. Now I'm going to print the value. Yeah, so we got the same output. So you think the same, we got the same output. So then what's the difference? My difference. So that's what I said in right before. Uh, also, I'm going to give this uh, less than or equal to first. Then we're going to print uh, up to 10 values. So yeah, so we got the same output as our while loop as well. So what is the main difference here? So let me tell you the main difference. See? So first here we have the while loop. We are checking a condition. If it is condition is true and it's going to print. When it comes to do while, it's going to first it going. There is no condition here. In the do, there is no condition. First it's going to print and then it's going to execute the condition. That's the main difference between the while loop and do while loop. Uh, when we actually do some uh, some other problem examples, then uh, like we in upcoming videos. Uh, like we're going to do some problem examples then at the time i'm going to uh leave the like the main difference you will you going to understand the main difference between the do and why do like where we actually uh do some example problems like at the time we particularly use for for that particular code we're going to use particularly the do while do at the time we actually when we actually why we are using the do while loop over there at the time going to understand uh this is the main difference between the the do while loop here and the, the while and do while loop 
So first it's going to execute this block and then it's going to check the condition. When we actually talk about some other problem, example problems, then uh, we're going to explore more in this thing. Um, even you get uh, more clarity. So now uh, this is all about uh, do while loop. So now I'm going to commenting out this thing. Uh, now we'll discuss the for loop. So now we'll discuss the for loop. Now we'll discuss the for loop. So what exactly the for loop is? So let me type the same code here. The what we actually discuss in our uh, while loop. So we are printing it up to hundred or up to hundred or up to ten, whatever it may be. So we are going to do the same thing here as well. Um, I'm going to uh, I'm not going to do anything here. I'm just to simply write a for here within a bracket. So I'm going to type. I'm going to initialize here itself. I'm going to initialize i equal to zero. And I I'm going, now I'm going to give a condition i less than or equal to ten. And I'm going to increment the values here. I plus this. So now what I'm going to do is like I'm going to print a value. I'm going to print anything. So, uh, here I'm going to before printing, I'm going to use dash in here. So go to come to the next line so it will be more readable. Mm. So now I'm going to your i here. I'm going to print each and every time the i up to 10. So now let me run the code first. So then I'm going to discuss C. So we got the output from the 0 to 10 because we're initializing the value with 0 and the orders we can also initialize with the value 1 here as well. So now I'm going to now I'm going to run the code here. Yeah, so now we got the output. So we are printing from 1 to 10, but the main difference here is like we are just writing in a in a very short manner, like when it comes to while loop, we have first initializing here for on first line, and then we are just doing the condition, and then we are printing it, and then we are just using the incrementation operator. So in that way, we are doing. But all together, we are writing in a single line here, and then we are just printing it whatever we want in this particular block, the highlighted block. Just speaking, this highlighted block, whatever in this uh, between is highlighted block, uh, that going to print up to this condition is true. Even we can write the multiple uh, printer functions as well. I'm going to write this uh, hello world here, for example. Hello world. Uh, I'm going to give hello world. Um, then we're going to print it out first here. So what we have got the output as. So it's printing one and hello world two, hello world three, hello world. We're going to print uh, all the hello worlds. So we can give n number of functions or n number of uh, printer functions or uh, condition even we can also give the if conditions inside the for loop everything we're going to do uh, when we actually like we're going to do some going to solve some problems some uh, exercises at the time i'm going to use with this uh, within this uh, for loop what we're going to do if conditions all those going, i'm going to talk about at the time so you don't need to worry about right now mm. So this is all about the for loop and the while loop. So in while loop, we're going to write in multiple lines. Here we're going to write in a very short manner. So and here you have to look here. We have to uh, remember that this incrementer going to increment once this block is going to execute. After, once after the block is going to execute, then only it's going to increment. Not before like we are just writing in a single line. You going you know don't talk uh, don't think like it's going to be uh, increment. Uh, so we are writing in a single line so we're going to be increment uh, like once this uh, condition is initializing i'm going to checking condition and and again we're going to increment don't think in that way first it's going to initialize and then you're going to check the condition and then it's not going to increment it and then you come directly come to this particular block the highlighted block you're going to print the block what are we present here what are we mentioned here and then once it's done with the hello world and again it come back to this again the food loop and again it's going to increment it and again it's going to increment once after incrementation it's going to check the condition once you check the condition it's going to move on to this block and you're going to print the block after once after printing the hello world again it's going to move on to this particular incrementation going to print the incrementation and then it's going to move on to this condition you're going to check the condition once the condition is true then it's going to print that's what going to happen here until uh, uh, like the up to this condition is true we're going to keep on repeating the 
the block what are we mentioned inside the block we're going to keep on repeating so that's all main difference with the loops like uh, that's like that's the reason we generally use the loops here uh we also uh, look into the some solve problems in our coming videos so don't need to worry about uh right away like what like when uh we're going to look into some solve problems when they're like in the coming uh videos so at that time you get uh, get some more clarity about uh um ideas so right now that's all uh, from about uh, this while loop do while loop and for loop so Thank you all for uh, listening and uh, if you like my work, please do like, share and subscribe to Code for Course and uh, thank you. <music>